breathings. There's some background, quite a, quite a lot of background noise. Uh, are, are any mics on, Muzammin? Maybe maybe we can cut the mics temporarily. That's okay. All right, bottle clothing. That's good. That's fine. Oh, my has got his mic though. She's fine. There's no um, extra sound coming from there. And Abu Maimun, anyone who has the mic is free to speak at any time. Inshallah. So you're going to cut the mic if there's going to be, if there's like you know feedback or something like that, and it's disturbing. Otherwise, in actual fact, with this uh, software, everyone should have the mic, and they should be able to interject at any given to any particular time that they choose. Um, as, lo as long as it doesn't create the uh, feedback, not, like it has just now, one of the mics has come on and is, is creating some extra noise. So, if we could just eliminate that by switching the mic off that is creating the noise, then, uh, and then, Qadr Allah, that brother will have to uh, work with us without his mic, inshallah. I think it's identified. Dave, trying to get the uh, the tools. I can't see my tools, uh, Mozambil. Like uh, the pointer or the pen, or yeah, collaborating. Yes, yes, I do want to start collaborating. Yes, I do. Oh good. Jazakallah khair. Alhamdulillah. Jayid. Tayyib akhwa. Barakallah fikum. Tayyib nabda inshallah. Let's start. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahman rahim Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man itaba'a hudahu. Amma ba'd. Inshallah we will be looking at الدرس الثامن عشر لسن 18 uh, I don't know why I'm with this uh, the, the pen color doesn't seem to change it's like default black even when you choose ink color it seems to stick to black I don't know why in any case it's fine inshallah um, درس 18 is introducing us to uh, we could say four things Four things are being introduced into a dars a dars thamin ashar. One of those things is introducing the word kam, and in less if we're going to give it an equivalent in English, then it's basically how much or how many. Either of those could work for kam. How much or how many? Now, interestingly, and uh, what you need to pay attention to is that the word which comes after kam is, if it's a noun, then it's always going to be in the singular form. And it's always going to have two fathas at the end of it, which is known as mansub. Uh, thirdly, it's going to be uh, without alif or lam. It's going to be nakira. Nakira means indefinite, without alif or lam. So three. Uh, three particular attributes or qualities of the word which follows come if it's a noun is going to be in the singular form it will take two fathas at the end of it it's mansub and it is nakira meaning it doesn't take alif or lam tayyib so in this case, kam akh, the word is akh, brother. 
The questioner says, Kam Akhan. So the word Akh, because of Kam, it takes two Fathas after it. And now, there are two methods of of adding, uh, there are two methods of adding double fatha or fathatan at the end of a word. One is in the case that the word finishes with tamrabota. If the word finishes with tamrabota, then quite simply you add those two fathas on top of the tamrabota. The second way is if the word does not end with tamrabota. In that case, you put the two fathas on the last letter of the word and then you add an alif. Then you add an alif. Sometimes the alif is going to be connected to the previous letter as in the example that we have over here. Kam akhan. I made a mess of that. Kam akhan. And sometimes it will not join, like for example, if the last letter was a wow or a ra or a zai. And there are certain letters that will not connect to alif after it. Uh, six letters. The dal, the dal, the ra and the zai, uh, the wow and shall I remember the other one if it exists <laughs> okay brothers in actual fact I've mentioned two ways two methods of adding of adding fathatan on the end of a word and yet uh, if I'm not mistaken there are there is a third there is a third discussion which is a little bit more advanced, and it turns up inshallah, in the in the next uh, book, uh, book, book two, which is those words that finish with hamza. And depending on how the word finishes with hamza, it determines whether or not the you, when you put two fathas, you place an alif, or you don't place an alif. So we'll leave that discussion aside for the time being, inshallah. So the first thing we're, we've picked up so far, inshallah, is introduction of the word come, which means how many, how many or how much, and that the, the word that follows it is what, Akhi Abu Maimoun? It's going to be Nakira. Yep, uh, Nakira, exactly. Uh... uh going to have uh, singular uh, mufrad singular, mufrad uh, it's going to have uh, fatatain or you said double fatatain exactly double fatatain you that's the first thing to, that we've introduced the second thing is the answer to this question um, how many do you have how much do you have now, the questioner when the question relates to when the question relates to possessions meaning how much do you have or how many do you have then the answer is one of two things uh, to take away this piece of art mashallah Hopefully you've got a screenshot and you can save it, inshallah, and put it up for sale on eBay. Afwan. <laughs> Thank <laughs> 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 you. Getting back to seriousness. Afwan. Uh, two ways of uh, of expressing possession. 
One is if you're talking about uh, people or friends or Afwan relatives, brothers, sisters, mother, father. In that case, you use the lamb, which is known as lamb of ownership, lamb of possession, lamb al milkiya. Okay, and the other one is when the possession that we're talking about uh, is relates to objects, car, bicycle, house, money, mobile phone. In that one, that case, we'll say, "enda." So here you might say, here you might say, "li." And here you might say, Endi. And Li is talking about people. And Endi is talking about things. Jayid. So here we have an example. The question says, Kam akhan laka? Even in the question he says, Laka. How many brothers do you have? Ya Muhammadu. And Muhammadun says, Li. So he answers also in a relevant manner. Li akhun wahidun. Li akhun. Then he emphasizes the akhun with a na'at which means one wahidun I have I have one brother okay so the first thing that's being introduced into this lesson is the word come the second thing that's being introduced into this lesson is the difference between li which is for people and Indi, which will appear later on in the class, which, for, which is for things. That's the second thing, my brothers. The third thing that's being introduced into this lesson, and this is the most essential part of this class, is, as you discussed earlier, inshallah, dual, which is known as Muthanna. And... It basically, in um, Arabic language, you don't you don't only have singular and plural, as you do in English. Singular is one, and plural is everything more, more than one. Whereas in Arabic, you have singular, one, you have dual for two, and then you have plural for more than which is for three and above so you have mufrad which means singular you have muthanna which means dual two things and you have al jamr al jamr for plural in order to create let me wipe this all away now in order to create Muthanna or to express Muthanna quite simply on any noun you just need to add Alif and Noon the end of any word and this is always with a kasra on it always with a kasra on it for example we say kitabun hada kitabun okay kitabun wahidun meaning this is one book we're talking about one book kitabun means Kitabun Wahidun. It's the same. Hada Kitabun. This is a book. 
it's not more than one book, it's one book. So it is Kitabun Wahid or one book. Jayid. Whereas if you wanted to say two books, then simply you would add Alif and Noon with a Kasra at the end of the word. And then those two dhammas would definitely disappear and you it would become Kitab Kitabani Kitabani two books. Okay. And you just follow that rule. Go to for example go to for example a Dars al Awal and you'll find all of the words that we learnt months or more than that ago masjidun meaning one masjid ani masjidani means two masjids masjidani means two masjids hmm? i just wanted to check are you are you able to read the chat messages my um no in actual fact i I did turn off the. I, I pressed X on the chat box. Oh. It was obscuring the names. Now I don't know where it disappeared. Okay, it it will be on the, uh, you know, on the right hand side, the third or the fourth row. I think you should be able to see the. Andy list. That yes. Oh, I see. Ustad, can you please repeat? Half one. I'm so sorry. I didn't see the messages. Yeah. No. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. No Mashallah. Uh, Abu Abdurrahman must be in our region. Yeah, apparently he's from Dammam. He's often from Kober. Abu Abdurrahman, yeah, the, the, uh, the time gives it away. Muzama, it sounds like you're sitting in a public place or something. <laughs> I'm actually in a, in, a, in, a, in a university library. Uh, but yeah, I think it sounds like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, it does sound like table that. Table tennis, I mean. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. library, table tennis. MashaAllah, yes. sign yes. of the times. Yeah. It's at the Bradford, Bradford University Library. <coughs> hey, inshallah. Uh, Akhi Abu Abdul Rab, uh, can, you, can you just, sorry, ask a question again, please? Which. Because I didn't, uh, so I mistimed your request. So, which particular thing were you asking me to repeat? Could you possibly give up of the rub? Oh, I see. Uh, okay. The four things that we learned in this lesson. The four things that, that are coming in this lesson, um, but I didn't mention all of them at once. Abu Abdul Rabbah didn't mention them all of them. I just mentioned them um, as they were being introduced. The first thing is come. The first thing is come. The second thing is the noun that comes after come is follows three rules singular nakira and mansub mufrad nakira mansub it's singular doesn't have a different lam and it takes two fantas at the end of it the third thing we learn this, learn in the class is the differentiation between li and Indi. Both of them mean I have. But one of them refers to I have a brother, I have a sister. And the other one refers to I own or I have in my possession right now a car, a key, a house. Five pounds or six, ten, ten reals. Is that okay, Akhi Abu Abdurrahman? I hope I didn't go too fast over them. 
بارك الله فيك The, 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 the fourth thing is the introduction of dual in this lesson, which is a word, a noun, that refers to two of the same objects. So kitabun means one book, kitabani means two books. Masjidun is one masjid, masjidani, two masjids. So you add alif and noon and it has a kasra on the end. And the two dhammas at the end of the word disappear. You don't say masjidun ani. No, you don't. You say masjid ani. Masjid ani. Masjid ani. Masjid ani. Kitab ani. Okay. Miftah, Miftahun, Miftahani. Jayid? In actual fact, I'd like to go back to the beginning and ask the brothers to, tain, to turn each of these words into Muthanna. Yeah. Without um, Hadha, because that will appear later as. But just uh, like Lee and Andy. the Battle of the Scrolls was on me. So I'll, I'll point to the word Baitun and then you say Baitani. Can we give the mics please, Akim Muzambin? Okay. No one's accepted the mic so far. I still I get any requests. I mean, they get the request, right? They have to say yes. I didn't get it. Say, okay. No, your yeah. mic's on already, bro. Oh, all right. I remember when you your mic is already on. You're from the privileged people. Okay, Akhil Kareem, go ahead up on Maimoun. Bay two is my is my arrow. Bay two, oh uh, bay two, bay tani. Yeah, not bay two, bay two. Bay two. Oh, okay. That's what you said. That's good. Nice. And Abu Abdul Rab. Masjidun, masjidani. Again, please. Uh, Babun Babani Al-Khalafiq Abu Maimun Kitabun Kitabani Al-Khalafiq again Al-Amun Al-Amani Try to reduce the mud Don't say Al-Amun Say Kalamun Kalamun Al-Amani Al-Amani Al-Khalafiq Abu Abdul Rab Miftahun Miftahani. Above the rub. Maktabun, Maktabani. Above Memun. Sarirun, Sarir. Oh, I don't know. Sarirun, Sarirani. Ascent. Again. Kursiyun Kursiyani Harakallahu Fiqa Jayid Just you two that by the mic which is fine no. And if you were to go further into the book you know any given place you have this other vocabulary that we that we used and worked with then you have for example Tayyaratun Abu Maimun Tayyaratani exactly and we have Nikwatun Abu Abdurrab 
מקוואטני. My uh, text seems to have gone off the page. So I'll grab this and bring it back. Left tool. What's that mean? Brothers, can you. Okay, let me just get to page 97. Hopefully, you'll get straight, straight over there. Oh no, it's. What? So my thing has slipped sideways. I can only see half of the text. Is that only with me? Yes. I think so. This mine is okay. No, I'm stuck. <coughs> no effect. Sorry, guys. I, I think I'll have to refresh my page. No, no. Because my it, it seems to have come off. It slipped off the. Off the screen to the left, and I can't seem to bring it back. There's no scroll bar on the bottom to bring it. It's not dragging. Hey, bear with me for a second. 